Hi, my name is Dr. Misha, and I want to tell you how to do the questions of the chapter Profit and Loss. So Profit and Loss is very confusing if you don't understand it, but there's a lot of rules that you need, you must know in order to solve these questions. So let's get started. So Profit and Loss usually has a lot of stuff in it. For example, cost price, cost price, which is denoted by CP, selling price, He's denoted by SP, profit, profit, which they just denoted by profit, and loss, the same thing as loss. So whenever we do these questions, it's basically like a business type of thing. So whenever we say profit, we want to earn more money on whatever the products we sell. For example, our profit is like I buy a TV from Walmart for $1.200. And um, I want to I wanna get more money. I want to use like get a hundred extra dollars for this. I can spend that on my, my Xbox or something. So the cost price would be $200. Cost price would be $200. My profit would be $100. And then my selling price would be $300. So you might be um. So let me just go. Let, let me just rewind that a little slower. So cost price is two hundred. I bought like the cost price. The the cost of the TV was two hundred dollars, and then the profit I wanted was dollar one hundred, and then the selling price plus is selling price is always equal to um, cost price plus profit, because since in this case profit all means more. So two hundred plus one hundred is equal to three hundred dollars. That's profit. So, there might also be a scenario when you buy a TV from Walmart for $200 and um, and whatever you do is like you get a loss for $1.50. Whenever you have a loss, you go down. You tend to go down. So, whenever we say loss, it's going to go down. So, that means cost price is going to be more than the selling price. Now because if you do 200 minus 50, that is... 150 selling price is dollars 150. So, you know, like the moral of the story here is when we say that profit is more, we add to the cost price, and when we have loss, we are subtracting it from the cost price. So, this is like one of the important things. And, like, in the next part of the video, like in the next video I'll upload, it's going to be about like how to find the profit percentage and the loss percentage and how to solve those type of questions. So right now, let me just give an example. So let me just note this with examples. Let's say cost price, selling price, profit, and loss. So let me just take some 100, 150, 125, Selling price would be 30, 300, and let's just stay 150. So in profit and loss, the thing that's easy is like, it's like it's both ways. You can add, you can add the profit to the cost price to get selling price, and you can also find profit when they have given you the selling price and cost price. Same thing with um, profit. Well, same, the same thing with loss. So I have some examples here. I have three examples here. So they have given us here cost price, selling price. So that means we have to find the profit or loss, if there is any. So we have to find which is bigger. Cost price is bigger than selling price in this case because 100 is more than 30. So whenever I have 130, as you can see in this example, my cost price is more than my selling price. So meaning it's going to be a loss. So what I can do is 100 minus 30 is 70. So it would be a 70% loss. I can write 70 here. And then my second example is about one, my cost price is 150. My selling price is 300. So we here we can observe that SP is greater than CP. That the selling price is greater than the cost price. And the profit would be 300 minus 150 would be 150. And then our last um, example is the cost price is 125 and the selling price is 150 um since we know that sp is bigger then just how that profit would be 25 
but there's also some type of cases. Okay, so this might be a trick question for some of you. 160 is the cost price, 160 is the selling price. So which one, uh, so they're both equal. How do you know if there's profit and loss? Well, I mean, there is nothing. There's no profit, there's no loss, because they're both equal. So 160 minus 160 is zero. So here, it doesn't matter where you put it. You can put zero here and here. And this wraps up our video on how, this is like part one, this wraps our video on how to do profit and loss and the basic concepts of it. Thank you. Until next time, bye.